past, Terre de Somme used to provide direct aid and services ourselves. In 2013, we shifted our approach to a more sustainable strategy of development. Since then, we have given over 200,000 euros to more than 120 local projects, benefiting over 20,000 children. How we did that? We understood we had to change our philosophy. From our experience, we've seen that local communities often know what's best for them. However, they lack the financial and human resources to develop and to solve problems. Our strategy is to support them to develop inclusive and child-friendly communities. It's like the proverb, if you give a man a fish, he will eat for one day, but if you teach a man to fish, they will eat for a lifetime. So this is how it works. We launch a call for proposals and provide potential applicants with forms. If they decide to apply, we help them if needed to write a project proposal. Then after that, the selection committee chooses the best proposals based on a set of criteria. Then the projects can start. We provide the grants and support along the implementation phase. We also monitor regularly to make sure that best results are achieved. This approach leads to two levels of results. First of all, direct improvements in the lives of vulnerable children. They get access to education, to healthcare, and they know better what their rights are. We do not only work with them, we also work with their families, their caregivers, their teachers, their community. The second level of results is that the applicants receiving our support become stronger and more organized. They learn how to implement projects, to network, and to raise funds. We've clearly seen communities developing. What we've learned is that it's very important to involve children in the whole process. The project shouldn't just be about them, but made with them. We also advise to complement the grants with technical support. It's quite easy to give an amount of money, but if the applicants do not know how to use this money effectively, then the project results will stay limited. Finally, motivation is the key factor determining the success of a project. Even if you don't have much experience, with the right motivation, miracles can happen. <laughs>